Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to another Shore webinar. Um, we are joined today by Crestron. Um, my name is Chris Morley. I'm the Market Development Manager for Shore UK, and we are joined by Craig from Crestron. Craig, if you'd like to introduce yourself. Yeah, hi, I'm Craig Chester. I'm the Solution Architect for UK and Ireland for Crestron's UC Solutions. Perfect. Thank you, Craig. So we've got this webinar today. It's going to provide a short introduction to the latest partnership between Shaw and Crestron to bring you a new certified system for Microsoft Teams rooms using Intellimix Room Software DSP. It shouldn't take any longer than 40 minutes, including your questions at the end. Um, we're going to walk you through a, a few things. Some of those are an explanation of what products are part of the certified system from both Shaw and Crestron, an explanation of connectivity, and how the system interacts, a rundown of the installation process, some of our frequently asked questions, and then your questions at the end. So here you see some devices on the screen. In a combination with Crestron's UC C100T integrated kit, you can now bring fully certified Teams audio to your meeting spaces without the need for any dedicated hardware DSP or USB interfaces. Using Shaw's Intellimix Room software-based DSP, this is completely achievable. Shaw's MXA910 scene array and MXN5C network PoE loudspeaker complete the team certified package, creating the ideal solution for a medium and large meeting rooms where consistent user experience is essential. So let's have a look at some great reasons for putting this system in your meeting spaces. So first of all, we've got innovation. No one else has certified software with Microsoft. Shaw led the way in 2019 with the initial release of Intellimix Room software-based DSP, and now with official certification from Teams Rooms and Crestron, users have peace of mind that the system they're using will be trusted by Microsoft. Simplicity, you know, the system configuration and config, the system configuration and commissioning is straightforward with Shaw's free designer software. And with one click of the optimize button, routing and features are automatically applied for you, allowing users to prepare rooms for easy, easy use and get them out quickly. Quality, we've got two heavyweight names in the AV industry with reputations for producing high quality products put together to bring you, the users, the best possible meeting room solution. When you need to sound your best, in your meeting spaces, you can trust Shaw's Intellimix Room software DSP every time. So let's have a look at some devices um, that complete the audio signal chain. You have um, a microphone, you have a DSP, and you have a loudspeaker. In this instance, it's the MXA910, it's the Intellimix Room software DSP, and the MXN5 network loudspeaker. I'm now going to hand over to Craig, who's going to tell us a little bit more about the UCC 100T. Great, thanks a lot, Chris. So yeah, so we're talking about the UCC 100T. So this is one of the integrator products from our range of from our Flex range. So this contains two components: uh, the TS1070 panel. So that's the bit the user interacts with, it's sat on the on the on the uh, table, and then we have the UC engine. So this has all the I/O the uh, compute and everything you need alongside uh, the Shaw components uh, to create a custom space, custom room. So it's worth noting that this is the C100T is the only one that's currently certified. Uh, the CX100, which is our bring your own device product, that's not yet certified, but we're working on that to, uh, to bring that uh, to the party as well. I don't know if you'd like to pop over to the next slide for me, Chris, perhaps, because we'll talk about some connectivity um, and how the best way is for that to work. So what you'll see here is the simplest way to connect everything, which is connected all to the LAN. So everything can talk to each other simply and easily uh, without any extra stuff. Just as a note, we do provide on our UC engine a USB uh, Ethernet adapter. So this is used for one purpose only, and that is to connect the panel directly to the UC engine. It, its preferred method is connected over the LAN, as you can see, but in cases where you have limited access to network ports or reasons people just don't want to put it on the network, you can single cable it over to the UC engine. The advantage is, as I've just said, limited network ports or to simplify the installation. 
The disadvantage there, if you're using our XIO device management application, you won't be able to manage the panel directly. Um, but I should point out that that USB to Ethernet adapter is only used for this method. It can't be used as a secondary Ethernet adapter uh, with which to route your Dante audio and so on. Um, so yeah, keep it on the network and keep it simple. I think that's Thanks. pretty much covered it, Chris. But back to yeah. you. Thanks, Craig. What you'll see on there uh, on that schematic right in front of you as well is a laptop with the designer logo on there. Once the room is set up um, using designer, this laptop can be removed once it's all configured. Let's have a look now at um, a, a typical meeting room diagram that shows us the devices um, that we're going to be dis that we are discussing today. Audio coverage is from the MXA910. Depending on the overall requirements of the room, you'll generally be able to capture about 16 to 24 people with each MXA910. Although this diagram shows only two MXN5s, you can freely distribute as many as appropriate to cover your meeting room space to give you the best quality audio. All right, so let's have a look at the installation process. It is quite an easy process, um, so we're just gonna take you through it very quickly. Um, from the touch panel, you'll find the window settings. Once you've got the window settings, you can then go into log into the admin account. Once you are logged into the admin account, then you can go and download Intellimix Room Software DSP on the host PC, which is your UCC 100T. There's a couple of ways to do this. You can either pre-download the installer and load it onto a drive or other transfer method to get it out to the UCC 100T. Or if you have an internet connection, you can browse um, to the um, browser-based mail service to find the download link and then have it sent to your email. After the installation is completed, you will need to reboot the, one, the UCC 100T. Once you've done that, choose the Skype account and then sign in to the Teams room in kiosk mode. So once you've signed in in kiosk mode, you'll go to the settings and peripherals and select Intellimix room echo cancelling speakerphone for both the microphone and the speaker. So using Sure Designer, as we said earlier, when that little laptop, the same laptop you're seeing there in the schematic, um, using the Sure Designer on a separate device, configure and sync the Microflex ecosystem following the normal procedure as you would when setting up um, a, any other DSP. Activate your Intellimix room license from Designer. We won't go into the details right now, but it's suffice, suffice to say it only takes a few minutes. Um, once you've activated it, when the device shows in Designer and is licensed, and it will show an expiry date, the system is ready to use. What you must remember is that an unlicensed system will not pass audio. I did say it was quick. Um, that is it for the installation. Altogether, it only takes about 15 to 20 minutes to get a room set up for use. Um, Craig, we're now gonna go over to some frequently asked questions that Shaw and Crestron have had um, since the recent partnership. Um, and we're gonna sort of go through these um, and hopefully it might answer some of your questions um, that you've been asking in the chat. Okay, Good. Craig, I'll let, you, I'll let you lead the way. Thanks very much. So is Intellimix certified on all our devices, Chris? No. At the moment, it's only certified on the UCC 100T with the Asus PC. And a range of MXA mics certified? Right now, the certified package is strictly limited to the MXA 910, Intellimix Room, and the MXN 5C, and of course, the UCC 100T. Uh, for more information on the other team's certified products in Short and Crestron's portfolios, please check either respective brand websites or the Microsoft Teams requirements webpage. Okay, and can the guys get Intellimix pre-installed pre on our UCC 100T? No, the, the installation, licensing, commissioning, and configuration should be carried out by the customer or user. And is Intellimix free? It is free to download but without an active license, the software will not pass audio. Although Intellimix Room is a software-based DSP and license-based, um, there are long-term uh, cost benefits associated with a software-based DSP compared to a traditional hardware-based DSP. 
Okay, so now we know we need a license. What licenses can we get? So the paid licenses, there's a free and five year license option. Both of these options come in an eight or 16 channel license um, and your own room requirements or meeting space requirements will determine which is most suitable for you. If a three or five year term is unsuitable, please contact us and we'll tell you about alternatives which may be available to yourself. Um, if you're an integrator or dealer uh, and part of Shaw's existing sales channel and require a license um, to demonstrate to your customers, you can request one free of charge from us and that's a free year demo license. If you're an end user um, or otherwise looking to try out the Intellimix Room software, you can contact Shaw and we will give you a license which is a 90 day trial license and that is free of charge. Right here we see um, a link, I'm gonna leave that up for a few seconds. This is the link where you can go and fill in your details and you can get in touch um, to talk to someone about licensing. Um, so if you wanna take a picture of that or um, screenshot that, feel free. We're just gonna leave it up for a, a minute or two. All right, let's go to the next question. Good stuff. So can I buy my IntelliMix Room license alongside my uh, Crestron hardware? Um, no, the licenses are only currently available through Shaw's approved sales channels and dealer network. Okay. Um, will IntelliMix be certified on other devices? It will. Keep an eye out for some more news. If you've got a specific request, please let us know either privately or in the comments and we will get back to you and discuss in more detail. Oh, so what happens if I in install IntelliMix Room uh, on a Teams Room or, some, or something other than our UCC 100T? Um, using IntelliMix Room on anything other than a UCC 100T does not constitute a team certified system. However, Teams AEC offloading can be seen on other devices than a UCC 100T when using IntelliMix Room. Oh, I skipped okay. too oh. much there, there we go. <laughs> That's all right, no worries. So how can I split my Dante uh, applications from my company network when I'm using IntelliMix Room? Um, you can use the third party USB Ethernet adapter um, to create a secondary NIC on the UCC 100T. This can be then selected as the Dante NIC during the IntelliMix Room setup. You can't use the USB to Ethernet adapter included with the UCC 100T integrator kit this adapter is only used for directly connecting the touch panel to the UCC 100T and will not support a secondary NIC for Dante. Good stuff. So how can I see it? How can I see and hear this? Um, contact us. We'll book something in as soon as we can. Um, or if you want to go to uh, the, our Shaw Systems YouTube channel, you can see a whole range of videos where we have demonstrated our MXA range of microphones. And what happens if I use something other than the MX A910 with the IntelliMix room on our C100T or indeed on any other Teams room? Um, the behaviour of IntelliMix room and the Teams room will be the same when using an MX A910. You can choose whichever microphone and overall audio setup which best suits the application. However, the end-to-end -end system is not certified for Microsoft Teams unless listed in the Microsoft Teams room requirements list. Perfect. Brilliant. All right. Now it's time to go over to your Q&A. Um, let's have a look at some of the questions that we've got. Before we do, we have put our emails up on the, um, up on the screen um, and they can be, you can contact us um, and we can always reach out and discuss in a little bit more detail if your questions are pro uh, project specific.